So the idea was then that they were going to have this one out on St. Patty's Day. So Roger worked for the owner of Trimark, Mark Amin, and between the two of them, they were not getting the job done. And Roger was such a person who, who was trying to get the job done with Mark Amin that at one point, after several months of not having a writer, not having a director, not having a producer for the remake, or for the sequel, pardon me, uh, Mark Amin just finally says, Roger, this one's yours. Just do whatever you want. And because I had made, at that point in time, maybe a dozen movies for Roger, uh, he knew that I was very good with budgets and very good with schedules. So he calls me on Labor Day, which is in September, and says, I finally got control internally of this project. Can you get a feature for me out by St. Patty's Day? I said, probably, let me read the script. So, oh, we don't have one. <laughs> And that's pretty much how I got the job, was Roger really didn't know a single other person in his sphere that could get the script written, produced, post-production, and then in time to turn over four weeks ahead of time to distribution so that they could do trailers and get the marketing and get the prep and get the screenings and reviews and everything to get it out. So that's how I came to become involved in Leprechaun.